What's happening, guys? How's it going? So, a heavyweight contest between Alexander Povetkin and Huey Fury has been announced, and it's going to be taking place on the undercard of Vasyl Lomachenko's fight against Luke Campbell that's taking place in London later this month. And, um, yeah, I wanted to talk about this one. Um, let's just say this is one of them fights that, in my personal opinion, stylistically, I don't think it's going to be a great fight. I don't think that these guys really gel that well. And I, I'll talk about that in a minute. But, basically, Huey Fury's last fight, if you guys didn't see his last fight with Samuel Peter, I'd urge you guys to take a look at it because it really just highlighted, or, or at least spots of that fight, in my opinion, highlighted the type of fight that this one is going to be. Now, Huey Fury in that fight was very typical of Huey Fury. He was on the back foot exclusively. He was running around the ring. He was throwing, um, you know, little backhand flicks. Um, every time Samuel Peter would get close to Fury, Fury would grab him and lean on his back. And, <laughs> and you know, that, that basically sums up Huey Fury's entire fighting style, man. I've, I've spoke about Huey Fury in the past. You guys might remember the, the rant that I did after his fight against Joseph Parker. In fact, before and after his fight against Joseph Parker, the videos I made about Huey Fury and his fighting style, man. He's just, he's a guy who, he's a fantastic spoiler. The guy is very, very good and very, very talented at ruining fights, if you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> he's the type of guy who can go in there against anybody and it doesn't matter the style of his opponent, he's able to he's able to make them look bad and make them look awkward and make them miss and tie up and just make the fight as ugly and as ungamely as possible. Now, against Sam Peter, that turned out to be a very ugly and extremely ungamely fight. Now, every time Sam Peter got close to try and um, load up on a punch and try and fight on the inside, like I said, Huey would just grab him and lean on him. And as a result of that, you see, Sam Peter... He's an interesting one, Sam Peter, even though he's completely washed up, he's 38, you know, years past his prime. He's a guy who has a certain mentality that a lot of fighters nowadays don't have. And that mentality that I mean is that Samuel Peter is a guy who, if you foul him, like if you grab him and you try to lean on him and you hold him, he will immediately react with some real nasty um, you know, underhanded tactics, like when Huey Fury would grab him, Samuel Peter would, would smack him behind the head, and he would push him, and he would say, get the fuck off me, like he was talking to Huey Fury in the ring, like saying, get off me, you know, and he, when he would go after Huey Fury, Huey Fury would grab him, he, he, he would either, he'd either hit him behind the head, and push him off, or he would hit him low, and push him off, and it was like the referee in that fight, um, yeah, T to, to be fair, what Samuel Peter was doing was technically illegal, but the referee didn't seem to have any problem whatsoever with the fact that Huey was holding, or the fact that Huey was hitting him round the back. Um, you know, he was hitting Sam Peter with, with, with backhanders, he was hitting him with, with his wrist, and it was just, like I said, whenever Huey Fury fights, it doesn't really matter who he's fighting, he's always able to make it as ungainly and as ugly as possible, and as negative as possible. I mean, Samuel Peter is 38. Okay, he's he's morbidly obese. He was fat as fuck in that fight. Yet Huey doesn't have the confidence to to let his punches go. He doesn't have the the confidence to to fight within the rules. He has to make it as as you know ugly and as negative by running around the ring and just doing all that shit. And I've got to be honest, man. This fight against Alexander Povetkin, in my opinion, this fight might turn out to be worse than that fight. And, I, and the reason I say that is because, you know how I mentioned earlier about how Sam Peter reacts when you try to foul him? You know, he'll, like I said, you know, he'll do whatever it takes to get you off him. You know, he'll hit you behind the head, he'll hit you low, he'll push you, he'll, he'll push you with a forearm. You know, he'll, he'll shove his glove in your face. Like, he, he has that, that type of old school mentality of, you hit me, I hit you back. Well, unfortunately, Alexander Povetkin doesn't have that same mentality. You know, you guys might remember when um, when Klitschko fought Povetkin over in Russia. Back, back in, well, that was 2013 now. That was multiple years ago now, man. But it doesn't seem that long ago. But yeah, in that fight, Povetkin w would come forward, just like Sam Peter does. You know, come forward looking for the knockout, moving his head, and... Klitschko would just tie him up, you know, he would just grab him and lean on him, push him around, maul him, 
and and you know j just just <laughs> put all his weight onto Povetkin's back. And Povetkin would just stand there, and he wouldn't do anything. He wouldn't hit him low, he wouldn't push him off, wouldn't hit him behind the head, you know, wouldn't push him off with the forearms. He, he wouldn't do any of the under ta underhanded tactics that it takes to deal with somebody like that, you know, to, to, to avoid yourself from getting tied up and, and, and from getting fouled. And I think that in this fight, we might see the same thing. I think Povetkin is going to follow Huey Fury around the ring, I think Huey Fury is going to be very negative on the back foot, just throwing jabs and feints and backhanders and looking to make the fight as, as boring and as, um, you know, non-eventful as possible. And then whenever Povetkin comes forward, he's just going to get grabbed. He's just going to get leaned on. Um, and, and the much bigger, younger, quicker, um, you know, <laughs> more fresh Huey Fury is just going to... I think he's going to win the fight probably on points. I think he, I think Huey Fury is going to beat Povetkin, and I think he's going to do so by using all those attributes. And another thing that's worth pointing out is, look, Huey Fury has just signed with Eddie Hearn. He just recently signed with Eddie Hearn as a new, you know, as as, as some new young blood in his heavyweight division because Eddie Hearn is obviously looking to recruit talent based on the problems he's been having. I mean, Anthony Joshua got knocked out who was, of course, his biggest, Eddie Hearn's biggest cash cow. Um, Dillian White ha has a problem with the with the drug test. He might end up getting banned. So, you know, obviously Dave Allen, who was another ticket seller, got beaten up. I mean, David Price, I don't even know if he's signed with Dave, with with, um, with Eddie Hearn. I think that he might be, you know, just, just signed with Eddie Hearn on like a fight-by-fight -fight basis. So, I mean, other, other than Derek Chisora, who has, has a bunch of losses at this point, Eddie Hearn needs to build up his British heavyweight stable, and Huey Fury is obviously one that he's chosen to, to, to be one of his next um, prospects slash contenders, so I, I think that Eddie Hearn, with the fight being in the UK, he's going to have Huey Fury's back, I think the referee, I mean I could totally see like a Howard Foster or somebody like that being the referee and um, you know, I can see there being three British judges, and I just think that Povetkin, if it goes the distance, and even if he wins, he'll get robbed, um, he will need a knockout to win the fight, I can't see him getting the knockout, Huey Fury is one of these guys who doesn't really get knocked out, you know, he's like I said, he's a guy who, even when he fought Parker and Pulev and lost those fights, clearly, he was able to spoil and make those guys look awkward, so I, I think that Huey will win the fight, I'm going to go for Huey Fury on points, um, let me know what you guys think. I mean, Povetkin's 40 years old. How much more has he got left? So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and God bless.